When you plug in anything with electricity in at your home, you plug it in with this. That's because this is the standard in the US. Any household items will always use this plug so that there's no confusion, no adapters, and you don't need to think about it. If you drive an electric car, however, things can get a little more complicated. Electric vehicles, or EVs, have spiked in popularity in the last few years, especially when gasoline prices skyrocketed. But there's one thing about EVs that people seem to say first. Charging seems like a pain. But now, the White House announced a new standard charger for the US by offering incentives to companies who use it. Without a standard, you could end up having to get different cords and adapters, and we've already dealt with that every day with our phones. Many automakers have come out with EVs in the last few years, and they all offer different features, levels of luxury, and come in different shapes and sizes. But there's one thing that sets some apart. The charge port. Most brands use CCS, or Combined Charging System, for charging, while one company uses their own connector, Tesla. They use what they call the NACS, or the North American Charging Standard. But it's not really the North American Charging Standard, they just call it that. It's most well known as the Tesla plug, which is one plug for at-home charging and fast charging on the go. CCS is a combination charger with two different pieces, but all combined in one larger plug. There's the circular J1772 part for at-home and slower charging, and then two larger pins on the bottom that provide fast charging. So what does making CCS the national standard mean for Tesla? They'll be opening up at least 7,500 of their superchargers to other brands by the end of 2024. This means anyone, not just Tesla drivers, can pull up to a Tesla supercharger, plug in, and charge. Having an official standard for vehicle charging may have taken a little too long, but with its adoption, drivers of all brands should feel a little better knowing they'll have access to even more public charging locations in the future, and won't have to lug around different adapters for different chargers.